In this video, we are going to talk about how to create advanced charts in your WordPress website by just using Gutenberg blocks. So we will be creating these advanced charts by using the plus add-ons for Gutenberg. And with that, you will be able to create some amazing looking line charts like this or maybe bar charts like this. So you can create vertical bar charts as well as the horizontal one. Along with that, we will also cover how we can create radar and polar area charts like this and donut chart and pie charts as well. So if you have a WordPress website where you have a lot of data, maybe in form of Excel sheet or maybe in form of any table, so you can create some eye catching graphs to grab attention of your visitors. And all that will be done by just using the Gutenberg page builder. So if that sounds interesting, then let's dive in. My name is Ankit Sharma from the team Posey Myth. And if you want to dive deep in the Gutenberg world and learn how you can do some amazing stuff by just using Gutenberg page builder, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified about our two videos that we publish every week. With that said, let's dive in in our WordPress backend. Here we are in our WordPress setup and if we go in the plugin section, here we have the plus add-ons for block editor free as well as the pro version. And once you install and set up both of these plugins, you will get a new option, the plus settings. If we click on this and then go to plus blocks, here we will search for chart. And this is the advanced chart block that we need to use. And as you can see, this block is part of the pro version of plus add-ons for Gutenberg. So make sure you have the pro plugin installed. And once you turn on this block, we need to click on save from here. And now let's go ahead and create a page and start creating our charts. So we go to pages and then click on add new. So maybe we can name this Gutenberg charts and now we will search for our block. So as soon as we type in chart, we will see this TP advanced chart block. Let's click on this. So this is how the advanced chart look in its default form. So if you take a look on the right hand side under layout, we have option to choose what style of chart we want to create. So right now we are using this line chart. You can switch it to different style. You can try the bar chart or the radial one, or maybe you can create this donut or pie chart, or maybe you can create this polar chart as well or maybe the bubble or the scattered data chart. So let's start with our style number one, that is line chart. So if we click here, it loads a default chart with some sample data here. So we are going to take a look at how we can create this chart using our own data. But if in case you are not sure which style of chart you should use to represent your data in a better way, you can go ahead and read this article. We found this article very informative and here you will find an infographic and here it shows that what type of graph you can use based on what type of data you have. So here, if you want to convey a single important data point, you can use a donut chart. After that, if you want to compare category or show composition, then you can use bar chart, bubble chart and pie chart. And after that, if you want to show change over time or by location, then you can use line or area chart. So you will find all the interesting information here in this infographic itself that can help you decide what type of chart you can use for your data that you have. So you can go through this article. We will link that down in the description below. So now we have selected the line chart from the style. In order to add our own data in this, we need to scroll down. And here the first option is label values. So here you can see we have three label values that is January, February, March and they are listed below here at the bottom of this graph. So for example, here we have some data in our Excel sheet where we have this table about the WordPress usage statistics and we want to create graph related to this. So we can use our year as label and then we can create graph for this top 10K, 100K and 1 million website. So let's go ahead and try that. So for our label values, we can remove this and paste various years as our label values. And as we observe, we are separating our values 
by this pipe line or this vertical line separator and if we scroll down now you see we have new label values for this line chart and on the top we have january february march as data sets so let's go ahead and edit that as well so we will be adding this top 10k 100k and 1 million as our data set so here under data set instead of january let's open this we will label this as top 10k so you so you can see that this is updating here in the same way we can change the label of second one and the third one as well so now we have labeled our data set we just now need to enter the relevant data here so we will use all this data here and once again we need to separate our data using this vertical line next for 100k and in the same way we will update for 1 million so now our label values showing at the bottom of this graph here and our data set are added on the top and the values for these data sets are showing in form of this line graph here we can mouse over on this line chart and see the exact data value per year and these tool tips are making our graph very interactive now once that is done we can go ahead and change the style and color of this line chart so now once we have entered the data this is how our line graph will look and now we can move on to the next step to style this graph so here we have grid lines as first option so we can hide the grid lines from this option but let's keep this on after that we have grid line x-axis we can change the color for both lines after that we have labels so we can change the color of our labels as well and here we can change the font size of these labels at the bottom and the vertical line after that we have an option for ligands and once again if we want we can hide that as well or we can change the text color so you can play around with the color option here and we can also change the font size and we can also play around with the position after that we have custom points so if we turn that on this is going to highlight our custom data points so we can change the shape of this data set so you can play around with the shapes here and after that we can also change the point size after that we have an option to style our tooltip that we see here so you can change the background of your tooltip so now you see it's got a blue shade or maybe the green one so you can play around with that from here and here we have some extra option about the look and feel and animation for this chart so if we go back in layout and and if we want to edit our top 1 million data so here we can play around with the color to match it with our website theme so let's say you want to change the background color of the dot so you can play around with the color settings here and you can also change the dot border color below that we have option to fill color so if we turn that on this line will be filled our desired color and that we can change from here so if you want you can go ahead and change it as per your website theme so in the same way we can change for the other two data sets as well so this is how we can create line chart for our website and then do the styling based on our website theme now if we open this page in the front end this is how our line chart will look so on this graph you can go ahead and view specific data set only so right now if i only want to see top 10k then this will only show the data about this data set and in the same way i can go ahead and uncheck all these data sets to view the data on this line graph so we can now duplicate this chart and instead of line chart we can choose bar chart as well and if we go down here we have an option for orientation so instead of horizontal we can choose vertical bar charts and once again we have our values and data sets as it is and just like our line chart we can go ahead and edit the color settings from here itself 
and if we go in the style section here we can define the settings for this bar chart so maybe we can change the bar size from here and after that we have the common styling option that we have just covered so you will get the style option first for that particular chart and then it will continue with the general settings of all the charts Now after this bar chart, we can go ahead and duplicate this complete chart so that we can try our next style. So let's go ahead and duplicate this entire row. And now instead of this bar chart, we are going to use the next style that is radar chart. So if we click on that, so this is how the radar chart looks. And if we scroll down, it's using our same label values that we have entered for the previous two graphs. We again have the top 10, top 100 and 1 million. And if we click any one of them, we can go ahead and do styling for that particular data set. So for example, we can change the dot background. So here you can play around with the color like this, or maybe you can change the dot border something like this after that we have border dash so now all the graph line will be in dotted form we can now move on to the style tab and here again we will only see the general settings of the entire graph so this is how we can create our radar chart so now after radar we are going to create a bubble chart so we will go ahead and select this entire row and then duplicate this and we will get rid of this radar chart from here let's rename this to bubble chart and after this we are going to add advanced chart once again and this time we will choose bubble chart so this is our bubble chart or it's also known as a scattered data chart and the reason for this is that under the data set of these charts, you will be able to group different data and show them as scattered on the graph. So let me show you what I mean. If we scroll down here, we can see the label values as January, February, March, which is showing on the top. And below that we have data sets. So here under data sets, we can see the chart data boxes. So right now we have January, February, March here. And under this first data set, we have label as Jan. And here you can see that our data is separated by this vertical line that we have already seen. But we also see that our data is grouped by this square bracket. After that, we have three values separated by this vertical line and grouped by this square bracket. And that's why we see this yellow data scattered on the graph. So if we change the first data to 35, it will move ahead to the next limit that is 35. And if we change that to 25, it will move between 24 to 26. And after that, if we change this to 10, so it will lower down towards 10 on the vertical axis. And if we change the third value, and if we change the third value to 45 or maybe 35, this will change the size of this dot. So all these three values that are grouped inside this square bracket are denoting the location on X axis, then the location on Y axis, and then the area covered by the value. And in the same way, we can create more data sets and then enter the data separated by the vertical line and group by the square bracket and once we scroll down here we have an option for background color as well as border color so maybe we can change the border color and see how it works so you can see that the yellow dot border is now red so you can play around with the color here depending upon your website theme so if we try one more time here we have 7, 10 and 16 that's making one data value which is showing here. So now let's see what happens if we edit this data. So instead of 7, we make it 17. So now it's right in between the 16 and 18. After that, for the Y axis, let's make it to 15. So now it's right in the middle between 16 and 14 here and for the size or the area we will enter the value as 56 and now you see it's covering more area 
If we change that to 6, it become a little bit small. So you can use this bubble or scattered data chart to showcase your complex data in form of an interactive chart. So let's go ahead and create a pie chart and see how it works. So let's go ahead and add another chart block. And in the style, we will choose this, this donut and pie. So under orientation, we can select this donut chart or this pie chart. And this time we will refer to Excel sheet data here where we want to create a pie chart for e-commerce usage distribution for top 1 million sites. And we will be covering how much WooCommerce, Shopify and Magento are covering. So for this label, we will choose these three values. So in label values, we will choose WooCommerce, then our separator, then Shopify, again our separator and then Magento. So now you see our label value are showing on the top here. After that, in data set, we only have one data set option here. For the first label value, we need to enter data at the first place. So here we will enter data for first WooCommerce. Then we will copy for Shopify and then for Magento. So this is how our pie chart will look. And after that, we have option to add the color code for our background. So you can enter any color code that can suit your website theme. In the same way, we can enter the border color as well. So if in case we go ahead and choose black for all. So this is how this pie chart will look. So now after completing our pie chart, let's duplicate this again. And this time we are going to choose polar area. And once again, we have the label values as WooCommerce, Shopify, Magento, because we have just duplicated the previous graph. And after that, we have the data set. So once again, for WooCommerce, we have this number as data value. For Shopify, we have the second one. And for Magento, we have the third one. And for the background, we are using this color code. And for the border color, we can use this one. We can choose red for this yellow one. So you can play around with color code here. So this is how we can create a pie chart as well as a polar chart. Along with that, on this page of advanced charts on the plusblocks.com website, if you scroll down, here you will find a lot of ready to use charts. So for example, you think that this chart goes very well with your website theme. So all you have to do is just use this copy button here. So you can click on this copy and then come back in your page editor. And here on the top, you will find an option says plus paste. As soon as you click on this and with that, we have just pasted the entire line chart from the plusblocks.com on our website. So you can do the same for any chart that you see here. You can just copy this from here and then paste it anywhere on your WordPress website. So this will make it very easy for you to create these graphs and charts and then just enter the data value as per your requirement. Now I'm sure all these unique graphs and charts will fulfill most of the use cases. But if in case you think that there is something missing and you wish that it could be added in these charts, then feel free to visit our roadmap page here. You can go ahead and sign up here and then request a feature right here that you want to see in these graphs. And not just for these advanced charts, you can go ahead and request any feature that you wish to see in any other plus blocks. So this is how you can turn all your boring long table data in form of some eye catching graphs and that will surely grab attention of your website visitors. And in fact, you can actually spice up your boring tables as well. We have already created a video about how to create some amazing looking tables. So you can go ahead and watch that in the i button above and see how you can spice up your boring tables as well. So if you like this video, then make sure you hit the like button. And if you want to dive deep in the world of Gutenberg and see how you can do amazing things with the plus add-ons, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. So that's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.